Everybody welcome back to the cabin. Still too frosty up on the metal roof. It was uh, one degree Celsius this morning. So it's still slippery. So before, well until the sun comes up and melts it off, at least on this side, um, at least another hour I would say. So on the southeast side I'll get up there first, put that, that uh, foam closure at the eave. Screw all those panels down and then all the way across the front gable on that side as well. And then when the sun comes around and hits that side, I'll jump up on there and do the same thing. But also on this side, it's a lot more work to seal the valleys and the chimney and the transition to the uh, breezeway roof. So probably got a couple hours on this side, maybe an hour on this side. So let's say half a day. Um, in the meantime, I get these other two hinges on got to the hard hardware store over the last few days and picked up what I needed to get these hinges on uh, or take, I picked up these two hinges and also what else did I get something else I was looking for anyway the cone came in and I saw that in the last video so that too is going to be a priority today well let's try to get that installed get that chimney water tank Also harvested the last of the vegetables actually. Well, not quite the last. There's still some daikon radish, some cabbage, and uh, some dried beans that need to come in. But I'd got all the potatoes, beets, and carrots out, and I'm going to get the potatoes down below into the cellar, and also the carrots and beets. But with that, I'm going to dig all that sand out from the bottom of the cellar, the cellar floor and get those into buckets so I can layer the root vegetables in there that need to be protected from moisture. This uh, spot right here above the window is going to settle. I uh, hope I have enough of a space there actually. Might have to cut this window frame down a little bit but this is going to settle at least that distance so it's going to compress that insulation so it can't do spray foam in here that's going to be denser and actually push the window frame down so this um, rock wall will completely compress or like I said if I had that cold cell uh, spray foam that would uh, not compress as much so it would, as this settles and all that weight comes down on that that would push it uh, push this fr uh, frame this, uh, is it one and a half inch that top one's one and a half inch uh, hemlock that I milled so that would end up bowling that and possibly breaking the window there's another gap right here that has some foam in it but it's going to be mostly this as well so that can compress an additional three quarters of an inch so an inch and three quarters so only have to you don't have to accommodate the settling of the entire height of the wall you just have to calculate the settlement or the shrinkage from this point to this point so less than four feet three feet so I'm looking at maybe two inches of total settling and it's already settled I think probably an inch by the looks of it squirrels are getting in here though so I need to figure out how I'm trimming this piece out again I can't make it a solid trim and nail everything tight right here because that is going to settle so I need a gap here so that this trim can come down over top of the vertical trim the horizontal one slide down over top of this vertical one which is stationary 